All right, everyone, welcome to this new moon sidereal astrology forecast. This is for June 13th, Wednesday of 2018. All right, so new moon here uh, in Taurus. If you're expecting me to say Gemini, check out that link down below. We're using the actual size of the constellations. But uh, if you're to look up at the sky, you will see the new moon in Taurus. So this is the second new moon we've had here. The last one was here as well. So another new beginning involving our cultivation of our inner resources, right? This inner stability, inner strength, and ultimately what is inner value. So continuing to develop this, but the new moon will be um, right uh, on top of the horns of Taurus, which does signify more of the protecting and defending our values, which we'll talk about. Now the new moon does score up to Neptune, uh, which was an energy we were feeling last week. So good to uh, cultivate our dreams and take actions regarding our ideals in constructive ways, which we'll look at. All right, so that's Wednesday. We also do have Mercury sex dialing Uranus on Wednesday as well. So maybe some new ideas and uh, Venus starts to square Uranus uh, going into Thursday, which uh, could be good for constructive freedom uh, with those values and relationships. All right, so let's look at all of this here in more detail when we return. All right, so here's the chart for the new moon on June 13th. So that's going to be Wednesday, and it will be at 1653 Eastern Time of the Americas, if you do want to make that calculation for where you are in the world. Uh, but we will be feeling this energy before and after, usually, uh, very strongly, usually a day before and after. So this video is for the surrounding days here. Um, and as we approach Wednesday, uh, here on Tuesday, really good for clearing getting in touch with the energies and creating space for what will be the new beginnings um, slowly but surely going into the later part of the week. All right, so let's take a look at this. Here's the chart. Here's Taurus. As you can see here, Taurus is a larger constellation. And so we just happen to have two uh, new moons here, which does happen sometimes when we have a new moon at the beginning of Taurus, like we did last lunar month. So, uh, yep, another uh, new lunar cycle starting in this constellation. So Taurus is the bull. It's all about inner strength, cultivating our inner resources, right? So last cycle was about this and now another new beginning with it. However, it's likely developed at this time because we've already had so much, so many experiences and so much growth collectively involving Taurus. So another new beginning, another step in the right direction when it has to do with this. So really good for sitting with the energies around Wednesday. What have you been developing? This past lunar cycle regarding your inner strength, inner value, inner sense of self-worth, inner stability, and what now can be a new intention perhaps you can set for the next lunar month or some new things you can cultivate that again do require this development of this inner strength, inner value. So with this being said, what's different about it is the aspects. We'll look at that. There's a square to Neptune, but also where it's at located in Taurus. And also Venus has changed signs and she's the ruler of Taurus. So we'll look at that difference as well. But looking at where it's at, this is the very tip of the horns of Taurus, the bull. And so likely this new beginning will be about essentially defending, protecting our values, right? And our inner strength. So this is the side of Taurus. If you've ever heard of Taurus um, being called stubborn, right? This kind of stubbornness is seen from this side of it. But there is healthy stubbornness, right? I would say with this new this new beginning, good time to be stubborn with your principles, with your deepest values, right? With moderation, of course, and bringing extra attention to that. And if it does involve relationships, obviously, being conscious of any over stubbornness. But nonetheless, this is good to be able to protect what we value, right? Create the boundaries. The secure environment and this is also confirmed by the fact that venus the dispositor or ruler of this new moon in taurus has shifted into cancer last weekend so the shift of what we're cultivating or what we're cultivating through is cancer and cancer is about creating essentially protective environments but it's more in a watery sense 
right? Venus here has been the shift of likely valuing more of this caring nature, this protective nature. Probably notice that in our relationships as we're enjoying more of that, connecting in that way. But in the context of Taurus, it's through getting in touch with our feelings, getting in touch with our intrinsic values, our emotional values, right? And creating safe spaces for ourselves, for our values, and you could all obviously also say for relationships or through relationships. So it's through cancer we're developing these Taurus qualities now. So really good to get in touch with this. Also listening to our inner guidance, connecting with our soul, perhaps our past, maybe spending some time at home, private life, family life. These foundations in life, these emotional foundations, great time to be connecting, also enjoying with Venus but especially because this whole new moon is suggesting that it's through this emotional foundation with ourself and with life that we are cultivating this now new beginning with our values, okay? So of course, Taurus does translate to outer resources as well as we continue to develop these inner resources. Taurus is also about the material life, so the lunar cycle is always good too to be grateful for what we have on a material level, to connect with nature, to connect with earth, right? And perhaps cultivate more of our uh, material security. Okay. So let's talk about this square up to Neptune. It's the only aspect we have with this uh, new moon. So uh, Neptune, this square we had last week uh, with the sun and Mercury. So we are easing up off of it. It's not that strong of a square, but still nonetheless, it's a great time to be aware of what are our ideals? What are our dreams? What are our hopes and wishes? Neptune is all about the what is essentially our dreams right what we hope for and what we idealize so good to be aware of this right great time to be listening to dreams doing things constructively here like meditating to get in touch with that receptive side of ourself to our inner guidance our soul's guidance that's essentially what neptune's about so great time to be building these ideals and these dreams that's what squares represents taking the constructive approach setting the intention and building it making it happen so that's good as well as again constructive spiritual activities constructive rest anything that helps us get into our receptive side and essentially go with the flow right of course squares are about taking action but still letting go of what's outside of our control cultivating new beginnings while being present i think this is an excellent time for developing more presence, working on our presence of the now moment, you know, being connected to the now moment. However, we might do that. And we all do it differently. So it might be artistic for some of us. It might be more spiritual. It might be through rest, whatever it might be. All right. So really good constructive energy with that. That's essentially what the new moon is um, activating here. We do have Mercury in Gemini now. So I think uh, still great to be learning. In fact, uh, you know, the horns of Taurus is also the head of Taurus, right? So the head is about um, thinking, figuring some things out, learning. Great time to be doing that, getting into that sort of curious side of ourself. So with that being said, Mercury is sextiling up to Uranus at the time of this new moon. And although it's not a major aspect, um, it is an opening here to maybe think outside the box. Uranus is all about new and different ways of viewing things, especially with Mercury, which is about our understanding and thinking patterns. So there could be some new new ideas, maybe some new exciting ideas, maybe some new changes to the routine. Mercury is also about the day-to-day, -day, the immediate environment. So it's not it's very strong with the sextile, but it's an opening. So anything that does facilitate thinking about things in new ways, maybe doing things in new ways in a routine sense, really good with that sextile up to Uranus. There's a square up to Chiron with Mercury. So do know that there are some perhaps um, inhibitions about what we're thinking about, maybe wounds about what we're thinking about. It's nothing major, but maybe internally facing those wounds and may possibly even communicating those wounds or expressing them, whether it's writing them down or expressing them with someone. Really good constructive ways of doing some healing here that involve the mind, that involve communication. Okay. So that is the new moon on Wednesday. As we get into um, Thursday here, the moon will be shifting into Gemini. So that's going to put a little bit more emphasis on, again, that mercurial energy of learning, inquisition. Be a great time going into the weekend for, you know, again, 
reading, writing, communication, getting into things, maybe exchanging with others, trading business perhaps if it's like that for you. And Venus then starts to square up to Uranus, which I'll talk about when we look at the weekend forecast as well. But here, there could be a bit of uh, maybe unexpected energy, erratic energy involving some of these values that we're cultivating with Taurus at this time and possibly with relationships. And this is, again, a collective energy, so it'll be different for all of us. But nonetheless, the constructive way of working with this is to see how can we create healthy change with our values. And again, think outside the box. That's what Uranus is about, but constructively, right? We're likely wanting to break through, wanting some freedom. That's where the erratic energy could be coming in. So listen to the freedom, but see how we can build our values constructively while being open to new and different things, new and different people with relationships, Venus Square and Uranus are new ways of connecting to our existing relationships, allowing for freedom in our relationships, but nonetheless, valuing freedom, valuing change, and cultivating that constructively is excellent with this square up to, uh, again, the dispositor of the new moon squaring Uranus. All right. So that is uh, the new moon in a nutshell, Wednesday, 1653 Eastern time of the Americas, another new beginning in Taurus, <clears throat> all about <clears throat> cultivating those inner resources and inner stability, which is essentially about getting in touch with that you know, sense of self-value, self-worth, and as a result, cultivating that externally with the horns of Taurus, doing so with boundaries, with stability, that healthy stubbornness, right? That is this part of Taurus, right? And with Venus and Cancer, getting in touch with that, the emotional values, creating foundations, protective environments, caring, nurturing for self and others, right? This type of stuff. All right, then the square to uh, Neptune, of course, being receptive. Anything we can do that is constructively building upon our ideals, yet being present, is fantastic with that square to Neptune. All right, everyone, so have a fantastic new moon. Thank you again for all of your likes, comments, and shares with these videos. Um, do check down below, actually, as well. I'm going to go ahead and put um, where this new moon is for each of the signs if you do want to see where this new moon is for you specifically. So do check that out. Again, it's for your sidereal signs. But yeah, have a fantastic new moon, and I'll see you all for the uh, weekend forecast. Take care.